Hi, Sandy. Hey, Luke. Welcome to the Pear Tree Podcast. Oh, that was like a really in sync wave there. That was, that was a brilliant wave. You couldn't even done that if we tried. Fantastic. <laughs> we didn't do any countdowns. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, welcome to episode 49 of the Pear Tree Podcast. Sandy is here with me at Ray Albee. Gorgeous looking day. And we were just checking out the weather, right? And I have apparently had the last of my snow, so it's it's all thaw from here on out. That's good news. I'm quite looking forward to the spring weather. So I'm expecting to see... No snow on the ground tomorrow, but I can't quite remember how it worked last year, can you? No, I can't. I can't remember if it's like light green or that mucky green like it is in autumn or just straight bright green. I'm just looking forward to seeing grass, so I'm not really fussed, but I can't remember. So when it started snowing, you got like a few days of snow, but it didn't settle on the ground. I don't think that's the... That's not the case when it leaves. But I think you, yeah, I think it might be kind of like that grey, sludgy few days. Yeah. Kind of like what you get in England when it snows just once. Then a few hours later, it's just that grey, sludgy stuff, like immediately. <laughs> and then you get that for a week. <laughs> you don't get the two months of pristine white snow like you do in Animal Crossing. No, definitely not. And every, every version walking distance. Yeah, that's true. I feel like this year I haven't minded the snow nearly as much as I did last year. And I think it's just because I haven't been playing quite so intensely as I did last year. So last year's playing every day for, a, you know, an hour or so. Oh, you're up. You had enough already. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what I've just seen. <laughs> Fidgeting already. I don't know what. I've seen ketchup and I've just automatically... I've seen it already, but I just jumped off there. I don't know if you can see it in your view, but she's hanging about outside Abel's. I could just see her. She's got a cute little jumper on today. But yeah, I didn't mind the snow so much this year. I've been playing a lot less, though, probably just maybe like half an hour a day rather than like a couple of hours a day of of last year. Yeah, I'm a bit the same. Mm. But I'm looking forward to Saturday now. I had my notice on the notice board the other day. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Is it? Was oh, it Tuesday? Oh, I thought it was a Saturday. I thought the event was on a Saturday. Oh. Um, pretty. I thought it said the twenty eighth when I looked. The twenty eighth is not the Tuesday though. Is no. it? 28th and Monday. Is it? Yeah. What's the thing say? I think I took a photo of it. Let me check my photos. But anyway, also Coco and Barrel's birthdays are next week. That's why I know it wasn't Tuesday because Coco's birthday's on Tuesday and Barrel's on the Wednesday. So, party in locker room. February 28th it is. Oh, is it? It's a Monday? I prefer the events on a, a Saturday just because I'm more likely to get time to play, but also it means KK Sunday. Mmm. You always love a KK Sunday. Yeah. You're a time wizard anyway. You won't let a, th- a little thing like it being on Monday stop you. No. <laughs> Although it might be next Saturday with the time I play it. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be really cool. I haven't put any decorations out for it yet, but I'm still stockpiling all the ones that I see in the shop. And you brought me a really cool sounding present, um, which I reckon is going to be good for a party. Oh, that'll be amazing for the the event. I haven't looked at it yet because I can't place it with you here, but you brought over some timpani drums, um, which I haven't seen in the game yet. So that sounds really cool. Thank you. Yeah, they just showed up in my nook, so... They are really cool. Hopefully the uh, villagers will be out playing them and the Festivale drums. And One of them gave me a marimba the other day, so I think it's Poppy. I'll have to put that out somewhere. 
Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, you've got quite a bit of space round about the plaza here as well. There's some face the valley yeah. decorations. And with enough space for them to still walk around them. Well, I never really did finish off things outside Nooks and Abel's like I planned. Like I was going to make it like the sort of forecourt of the of the shop. Yeah. A little welcoming bit, but I never did that. Um, or haven't done that yet. So that could be good. Well, you've got till Monday. Definitely put a few instruments and things up in the playground as well. Do you see much of them? Are they interacting with the, the playground up there? Yeah, there was a really cool bit where Dizzy was dancing along with his gyroid that I really loved. And that was cool. And I, I did a little bit of playground makeover this week because um, I did a house makeover for Biscuit. Do you remember what his house was like before? It was like an outside yeah oh yeah it was like yeah I liked it it was very spring like yeah it was really cool it had the green grass floor although it did have the big uh, gym thing the climbing frame yeah the climbing frame took up most of the house um he didn't have he had a hammock in there but not like a bed or anything um and then he had like a really weird collection of outdoorsy things like a lawnmower and a hose pipe and <laughs> tap and bucket which I can not can quite work out but my makeover of his house involved me kind of taking all those things from indoors and putting them just out in their playground ah uh, right okay and then doing his house up like it was an actual house that he could live in with a bed and a <laughs> sofa and space because that's not much space in it actually but oh, right. I filled it up quite quite nicely I'll need to have a look at the pictures well you might be able you might catch him in there you can have a look oh yeah yeah he seemed really happy with it I, I I found it quite challenging because that house is so <laughs> I don't want to say it's so him because obviously I wanted to change it and make it more him but I think because he's my oldest village, one of my oldest villagers, my bestie, you know, I really felt like I needed to give him the best possible space I could. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not I'm not 100% happy with it, but um, I like the direction it was going in, so it's a good start. I might re revisit it a little I just realised I love doing it so much. Like, it, um, Shari and Lollies, they just had tiny, tiny little makeovers, like just adding maybe three or four bits of furniture and items and a few things on the walls. Yeah. But every time I go into their houses, I'm like, oh, it looks so much better. I mean, theirs weren't complete remodels. Theirs were just, like the base house stayed exactly the same and the wallpaper yeah. and the flooring and stuff was all the same they just had flourishes but I really like it when I go and visit them now Biscuit did have a complete makeover though so we'll see we'll see how I feel about that when I pop back in so just a question about Happy Home Paradise and the ability to change your residence homes Does, mm. can you remove like cloven items so when you usually when you gift someone a cloven mm. item they'll display it does that permanently remove that from it if it's on display when you change it what what's the deal I don't know or could it still appear it removes it from being on display but I don't think it removes it from their rotation and I haven't seen anything go back so Shari had a protein shaker bottle that she got from somewhere and I took that out of her home and I haven't seen it go back in there. Yeah. But I haven't taken out any clothing items and seen them go back. So hopefully, yes, but I mean, I haven't really noticed. Um, yeah, I maybe just need to hurry up and get on with this so I can mm. uh, investigate because 
there's just a couple of villagers that I want to get ready some cloven items that are on display in their house now. Yeah, it's an interesting question. I was thinking about it because Mary got uh, a zap suit. I think we talked about it when it <laughs> happened. Yeah. And like she doesn't, she's got quite a sparse house, so it's always in there. And I was thinking about that that the other day whether it would remove it from there permanently. Why? <laughs> so you asked that like um, someone had got something questionable this week. If you had a gifting faux pas. Oh yeah, well, not really. Well, one of them it is, but I don't know if you remember, Portia got an instant muscle suit a wee while ago. Oh yeah. And it was on display <laughs> and it's just no. always there when I go in and visit her. And then I've been going to Abel's every time I play and like buying stuff that I don't think I've bought before or just like maybe different variations. And she was in there one day wearing this instant muscle suit. Oh, and I was like, no. No. Oh, she's so classy as well. I think that was the first time I'd seen her wear it. Out with like trying it on that first time. Actually, I don't even know if I'll let her try it on, did I? can't remember, but anyway, it just looks silly on her. Because she's just so stylish already, so that was that. Yeah, she's a classy classy dog, you don't want that. Although, um... She did give me a, a bath towel wrap this week, all nice and cosy in this like winter weather, and she gives me a bath towel wrap. Like, thanks. Well, maybe she thinks you're going to go. She, we... Or she, she's going to need a bath. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say maybe she wants like you guys to go to like a fancy spa together. Uh, maybe. Or maybe that was her hinting. Because I have got one in her, I think, half still. So maybe that was her hinting for me to take her. Because mm. I don't think actually she's been there. Oh, she'd like oh, that. that's why. Yeah. Maybe if she gives you some cucumber face pack, <laughs> then... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. At least it wasn't the head bandages. I've had so many head bandages this week. I don't... <laughs> I don't know why. What's with the head bandage? Um, I think they're predicting your thing. your future, maybe. You should be watching out. Well, yeah, maybe. I think we spoke about this. I don't know. Did we speak about this before? Or was maybe on just a Discord? I think they were giving us like all the new items that are related to injuries. I think that you were getting uh, head bandages before, and uh, oh yeah, I was getting a he- head this, bandages. This week it's me. I do keep going to Katrina, hoping for bad luck, uh, and I got. Um, bad luck one day this week and I got a new one of her new gifts oh what one did you get not a zodiac figure but it was the um the mini dharma oh nice oh I actually got a gold dharma recipe is that where you get the mini dharmas from Katrina oh it's yeah ah. do you need them for the gold recipe do you yeah you must do so I don't know I just thought that was another recipe that I never had oh well um, I think her other stuff is orderable, so if it's orderable for me, I'll... Um, ah, right, you can just send it over. Send you one. Not 100% sure about that, but I'll check. It's so weird running up to her, like, every day, going, oh, I hope we've got bad luck today. <laughs> <laughs> Has there been any... Oh, actually, yeah, I meant to ask. You've been island hopping... I hear. I did do a little island hop yesterday, just a little, because, well, Dizzy asked to leave earlier in the week, but as I've just spent so much time on his play park and he still hasn't given me his photo, I said no. And then I think a day or two later, Chief just came up to me and went, that's it, I made up my mind, I'm leaving the island. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> He seemed really like positive about it and that he was really looking forward to going on and doing something else. So I was quite happy to let him go. I've really enjoyed having him. Um, and it was time. So he moved out a couple of days ago and I uh, went, I couldn't decide whether to just let the plot fill or to go and look for somebody. 
but I decided just to do a couple of islands just to see. I think we started talking about some of the new villages that um, are out there and I thought, oh, maybe, you know, if I went and saw one of the new ones, I probably would take them. Yeah. But I saw some cute ones, but no one that quite grabbed me. Um, the first island was Sky, and I was like, ah, oh, a wolf for a wolf. But I don't know, then we've got two sweet villagers already. Yeah. And I really love them and get really attached to them, so I kind of was like, I don't... I thought about her for a long time. I just left my character on the island and went and, like, you know, made dinner or whatever and came mm-hmm. back a couple of hours later. But I saw her and I saw Broccolo, who's amazing, but I've also already got two lazies. Uh, and then I saw Sly and then I saw Crackle. Oh, no. I take it and you say no to Crackle? Um, I just... Do you like Crackle, do you? I just like their names. I just love it when it's related to yeah. them. <laughs> Um, some some people might find that a bit morbid, especially when it's like foods related. But yeah, I kind of find it a bit morbid, a bit. Um, my last one was Flip, and he was just like, oh, a joke. <laughs> let me come to your island and run laps around it or whatever. Uh, oh, he's a cute monkey though. He's so cute. He's really cute. Yeah, I had him as a starter. Yeah, you said he was really cute. I don't remember him on your island. I think maybe you let him go already. Yeah, so him and Cherry like were my starters, and I did let them go early because I had their um, their posters, thinking that was the new. Mm. I think it happened for a lot of people, but a lot of my villagers, and that's why I got Cherry back because I never got a chance to get her photo. And I think Flip might have. No, actually, I think I've got Flip's photo. I think just because he never Did asked you? to leave, like, for ages. I'm going to have to check my room. Uh, well, he was cute. I, d- I don't remember him being there, but he, he was cute. But I, that was, you know, I let it, I let it also fill anyway, thinking, well, it might be a jock. It's, it's probably going to be a jock, <laughs> but if that's the case, then fine, you know, because I wouldn't choose one, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't enjoy one. But it was Kid. Kid's nice. Who is super cute and he's a smug goat. I've got Julian as a smug, but um, only one. So, yeah, I think it's worked out really nicely. He'll be here tomorrow, though. So I don't know where he's come from, if it's someone that we know oh, yeah. well, or whether it's like a someone I traded with once two years ago or something. Who knows? Possibly. Oh, my goodness. It'll be funny, I just like seeing the new ones, especially if they come for your friends, I just like seeing what they're going to wear or what they've, they've got in their houses. Mm. And no, they don't take furniture, do they? They don't, just what they're, no, they're, they're wearing. Yeah, they bring, the, bring their clothes. Yeah, so we'll see. How about um, Lockrum this week? Any any new guys? Any Any changes? Yeah, we've actually had to say goodbye to Julian. Oh. So he gave me my, his photo. I don't know if I don't know if he gave me his photo before we recorded last one or not, or it was just after. And then I had a campsite visitor, and he chose Julian first time. So I've already got his photo, and I just cannot be dealing with that game. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was winning, but it was just like the little games where you can win that items that you don't really want or need. So after yeah. getting a, my pockets filled, he eventually asked to move in and I chose Julian. So Who asked to move in? Oh, yeah, Bam. Oh, cool. So he's a joke. He's <laughs> so I was cute. laughing when you were like, knocking back all the jokes, but... I've not got any jocks, so... He's a cute little jock, though, isn't he? He is. And I think because he's blue as well, and he's... What is it? He's, is his catchphrase something? No. Oh, his catchphrase is weird. It's like kablang or something like that. But he's... The music that plays in his blue house is blues, KK blues. Mm. I wouldn't have uh, thought about that sound with him 
in his at the interior of his house, definitely not. But it's obviously blue because he's very blue. And he's took over Julian's garden, so technically, I'd, for now, be with the Festivali stuff up. I don't need to change his garden. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I really like the jocks when they're on other people's islands because I only see them, you know, like well, like one conversation a week yeah, or something. Yeah, rather than every day. Yeah, that's about the right kind of kind of time. Oh, that's cool. I look forward to meeting him. Bam for Julian. So anybody else? Any other movements? No, no, not anybody else. Um, and I've got all the photos apart from Fred and Cherry, but they're like the clo they're the the most recent ones out of the rest mm. of them. Because mm. I've got three now that are not moving. So yeah. it just narrows it down a bit. Oh, I think I'm on five, you know. I had a phototastic week actually. I'm only waiting for Judy's now. Um Dizzy finally gave me his photo. I felt like he was a bit he was holding out on me a little bit. I've just been giving pumpkins this week because I like I've just got so many in storage. So everyone's been getting ten pumpkins every day. And he seemed to really like that and gave me his photo. So that that was really cool. And then the day after I did biscuits renovations, I got a third biscuit photo. Wow. Which was great. And I also got a photo from Shari, which I think is her third as well. Um, Shari's was weird. It was when like, I found a bag in the campsite and it said, uh, <laughs> bikers are more fun. <laughs> on it. I was like, that's what? That's so weird. I bet that's Shari's. What a weird thing. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, this is my most like precious possession. Thanks for bringing it back to me. Here, have my photo. <laughs> is there any motorcycle um, furniture? I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame, because you could have gave it a motorcycle or just <laughs> sat it out there. Is this not a new motorcycle item, is there? I don't know. I know there's a lot of vehicles, so they might... Yeah. don't know why they wouldn't be, but... Probably not. There's there's a couple of cars and like a tractor or something. I don't remember seeing a motorcycle though. I do keep forgetting to check to be honest, but yeah, so loads of photos. Are you planning on moving anybody else in or are you just waiting till it happens on its own with campsite visitors or people asking it to move? That's a good question because I did have a little flick through my amiibos when I was thinking about the new villagers and I do have Shino's, Petri's, Sasha's. Got quite a few cute ones that I think I might like to invite. But yeah, I think I'm not really in any too much of a rush. So I think I'll probably just wait. I did have a camper this week. Um, or not, or, uh, I don't think we talked about it last time, but I think I did mention it to you. Um, Sylvana, yeah, so cute. And I was really temp, you know, really keen on having her. Um, it didn't take much convincing to get her to move in, but then she did ask for biscuit, so I oh. was just like, no way. You've just ruined it. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Pearl Savannah. It's, yeah, so... That was a shame that she didn't come. But I I think I'm not really in too much of a rush. It's like, does it take like two weeks or something once somebody's just asked to move before they ask to move again? There's like a countdown, isn't there, before... The next person will ask to leave. Yeah. Which I think is like 10, 10 days oh, or Oh, yeah, is it not like four, 14 or 15? I'm not sure. I just never have that problem because I time travel all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> never, it never seems as long. Yeah, I'm not in any rush, though, I don't think. Especially with being able to go over to Happy Home and do some, you know, meet people on a more kind of casual basis, do a home for them. 
So can you do homes for any amiibo now you have? Yeah, you can invite yeah. anyone, NPC or, or villager, yeah. So would you like maybe try vill villagers out that way? Like just say you could invite them. Do you interact with them a lot for, the, for you to get to know them? You do, but their interactions are not quite as personality based right. as they are on your island. Is it just more about the happy home paradise? Is that just more? Yeah, like they have speaking? a really different. Yeah, they have different dialogue over there than they do on your island, which is nice. It is nice to chat to them, but it is mainly about their home, their home. that you're building. Yeah. It is really cute getting to see them interact with all their things, though. That's cool. Just, just seeing them characters moving around and doing reactions, singing, that kind of thing. It's great. Especially if you do the NPCs who are normally quite, you know, they don't do a lot on your yeah. island other than... Flick obviously just walks around kind of swiping his net. So you can get a bit of extra interaction that way which is nice have you done, been doing much decorating apart from your playground not at all i don't think i've touched a single thing which is nice because it means you know i'm quite happy with with the island as it is i did plan to do a little something over near cabin's pier but it's okay i'm not I'm not in too much of a rush for that. It's kind of a bit wild over there. It looks fine-ish. Yeah, I said to you when I came in, the, the flyover looks really nice. What you've done with That's the engines and stuff. Oh, I should have got you to snip a little uh, oh, a video, video for me. Yeah, I don't even think. No, I've still um, <laughs> I've still had all my rubbish out looking for my ant. Uh, not my ant, my fly. Have you found one yet? No. <laughs> it's like rubbish everywhere. Are they all year round? Yeah. Well, yeah. Nookipedia says so. Yeah, they probably are. But... Hmm. Are they all tight night like times as well? Are you yeah. looking at the right times? I think so. I'm just looking every time. Um, how about you? Have you done any any decorating on your island? No, I don't know if I had I had cleared out that back area that I was talking about. I don't know if I had done it or if I said I was going to do it. No, you're just talking about it. I'm talking about it. So yeah, I cleared a bit of the back of the cliff. So there's like an open bit onto the the back of the island. Brilliant. Um, it's not a huge space, but it's nice and it's all quite hidden unless you go up to the top level. So I had to do a couple of move the inclines and things. So it's still got an incline up to Barold and Tabby's. Mm. Um, little area up there mm. but I've got lots of little pockets of areas that I need to kind of think of things to do with but it's nice just that I know that I've got that space for any ideas rather than if I think of something then I'm thinking oh, I'm going to need to move this to fit this in at least if I've got any ideas coming up for like Easter or sp just spring in general I've got some little areas to work with So you've just cleared it out for now yeah, not really done much apart from um, I think I've put some fences around more of the some Fred and Dina's houses because I had moved them just before the last time in preparation of clearing the black the back area. What are you doing there? Are you playing Animal Crossing Wordle on your phone? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. I was actually looking for the fly just to tell you the the times. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. I really struggled with Animal Crossing Wordle today, but I'm very pleased that it's part of my life. Ah, uh, yeah, I was saying to you, um, I didn't struggle as much because I had Batman in the campsite like the other day, and he's like quite similar to to Bruce, which was the the word. Yeah. But I'm enjoying it. I think it's harder than the real word, though. It is harder than normal word, yeah. Because you're just so... Although, 
it's like because it's obviously around a theme but that theme is so wide as well so many names yep that's great fun though the thing is and the names throw me I forget that there's you can choose names or if I choose or I think oh, about name I'm only focusing on names and I forget about actual yeah, words same. that it could be yeah it's just a bit I'm enjoying it though it's a nice challenge mm. Yeah, it's a nice little morning routine doing doing that. Oh yeah, I've got like five games now going, like all <laughs> based on round wordle. <laughs> I'm not able to fit them all in in my one cup of coffee in the morning, but uh, I do my wordles first. Although I don't know if you've seen uh, one of our friends has created a wordle like custom design. I did see. It's fantastic, isn't it? Amazing. I'm going to need to get that downloaded and then play Happy Home Paradise so that I can actually put things like that in their houses. <laughs> Little tablets. Yeah, you got to. Desktops. Yeah, that's absolutely genius. We are talking about what kind of, what, what villagers you would gift them to. Have you got any in mind or would you gift them to all? Or not gift it to, who do you think is playing word though? Or Animal Crossing. Um, I think that Lolly's playing it, and I think that Isabel is playing it, and I think that Biscuit's playing it, but he doesn't really understand what the rules are, <laughs> so he's just playing things like snacks. He's just typing in things like I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's doing like a ordering sweets online or something. <laughs> yeah, pizza. I don't know if I'd use that as a word, mind you, because it's that double later. Yeah. It's like I keep yeah, I keep typing in pizza and uh but never they never turn up. How are all you guys in Lockroom this week then, Sandy? Yeah, they're good. They're good. That's You've good. had a lot of um Gift giving of um, Valentine's Day earlier on this Aww. week. La or is it last week? Because it's been two weeks, yeah. So mm. I forgot all about it. I don't, it's not something I celebrate in real life. So when yeah. I've opened up the game and my, the letterbox was just like full. Oh, it's lovely. So that was a nice surprise. Yeah, it's really cool. So I had to go around and gift them some some things in return and like I was gifting villagers that I not, don't normally gift because I'm not after their photo so I had gave them um, barreled a, a snack that's like the it was a it looks like a packet of crisps oh yeah lying yeah. opened oh, cool. so I gave him that and it was funny because he was saying oh I loved um, he was really happy with it but then he went on to tell me that he loves new furniture Oh. And it was not really furniture. Because I thought when I gave it to him, it was going to look like the, you know, the little, the food the, items. The covered, the covered meal. I can't remember what that's called. There's a name for that little dish. Um, but it wasn't. It was like a, a leaf. And then he was, leaf, was, yeah. was telling me that he likes it because it's like a new furniture smell and that it isn't crunchy. I was like, sorry, Barrow, but I'll just give you the crisps. They're definitely crunchy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he's funny. So I don't know. He probably will try and eat them, though. <laughs> Adye gave Cherry um, some, I think it was a chic tulip uh, crown because she'd been telling me about her flowers again. But she was telling me about um, how purple means royalty. A uh, purple tulip means royalty. So they would try to get, give her something with purple tulips in it. So that was her gift. Oh, that's lovely. But then she gave me like I think, I think it was something like simple glass sunglasses. No. Yeah. So I was a bit under. I was ho I was hoping for a photo, but then that would have just been a bit too soon. Yeah. She's not been here. It wasn't long. a nose drip or a dummy. Oh or yeah. Head bandages. Oh, although she did give me um, like that new top. It's like a tea with plastic bib. Like I'm like two years old or something or a baby. I'm not sure. So. She gave me that the day before, I think. Have you had any more gifts or interactions with your villagers? Um, 
no standout gifts that I can think of. Apart from all those, all those photos. <laughs> yeah. Apart from all the photos and several sets of head bandages. I had a lovely thing. Well, kind of lovely. I had a visit with Ketchup, which was really nice. But she came up to me and was like, Oh, Luke, I've had a nightmare where... What was it? Something like... She said a massive fish came around and told her that she was really bad at decorating. And then she said, please, can you come around and keep me company so that I can forget about the nightmare and you can tell me if you like my house or not. <laughs> that was a, a, clearly a peppy ploy just to get you around. Like, <laughs> yeah. outrageous drama. Yeah, it was very dramatic. Um, but it was fine with me, though, because I got a lovely visit and I may... You know, they do that cute little thing where they run after you. Oh, they just follow you around. I just like ran around and round her table <laughs> and made her ch like chase me around because it's so cute. <laughs> oh. And it is cute, but sometimes seeing you try to take pictures is annoying because yeah. especially you try and go in that new camera mode and they're like right up in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting about that. But it is annoying when there's like when they're visiting each other and you want to try and get a picture of the two of them together, but basically one of them is just constantly stood behind the other. Yeah. And that like that's little grin and it's some probably could be yeah. quite creepy sometimes. Because it's just they are following you constantly. Um Ketchup went and visited Dizzy's house, which is very cool. And Judy visited Biscuit's house. I've only just thought, actually, they were going up to visit both the guys in the new area, in the play park. Ah, so they're checking out their, their new renovations? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh, you're going to have to work, start working on Judy's anyway. Oh, Judy's got a chic little garden. She's got the two of the topiaries at the end of her, like, little pathway and I'm always like this is the smartest house on Ray Alby <laughs> much better than my my house it looks really fancy I like it yeah, I don't think I've seen her because that was the first I spoke to her when I came here and that was me just meeting her for the first time so I'm going to need to go and check out our fancy garden mm. it's quite sparse but I think it looks like nice yeah it's really nice for her it's got her colours and I just love those bushes there I think they they're perfect. Oh, I'll tell you what I liked on Valentine's Day. Did you go and get a Brewster's? <gasps> no. What What happened? No? No? Oh, you came, did a special drink for Valentine's Day. Oh, no way. Oh my God, I'm going to have to time travel back. Oh, I tried to tell you. Did you not see my message to go and... Go and make sure you got a Brewster's today if you weren't planning on doing it. I probably did. <laughs> it was a busy day. Oh no, I'm going to have to time travel back and see this special drink. Yeah, I should have um, made more of an effort to tell you about it. Do you want me to tell you what happens or should I leave it as a surprise? Oh no, tell me. Oh yeah, I'm going to go and get it though. He makes a special hot chocolate for Valentine's Day. <sighs> That's like gotten just because... Why not offer it all the way around? It's like been so chilly and... I know. That'd be so nice just to have a wee hot chocolate. But I don't know, maybe it's much more like a special occasion. It's lovely. I was like... He doesn't even ask you. He's just like, this is what you're drinking today. It's completely like... <laughs> I would never, ever go back to a, a cafe that didn't let me choose what I was drinking. <laughs> Unless, of course, it was the only cafe on the entire island that I happen to live on. He just knows that you've got no choice and he thinks he knows best. But I did really, really love having hot chocolate from him. Did it come in the same cup or was it like a different cup? Is it like a wee latte cup or not? It's the same, I think. Uh. I'm not even sure if he tells you before you drink it. I can't remember... It just so happened that on Valentine's Day, Biscuit was sat in there having a drink as well. Oh, he's hot chocolate. That's bad for dogs. I hope it was... Biscuit was having coffee, apparently. Was he definitely having coffee? All right. 
Yeah, he said he said he was having coffee. It's a funny old relationship you have with Brewster, isn't it? Yeah, I I, I just like him because it is. It's just I don't know. I don't. He does his, his dialogue doesn't annoy me near as much as a lot of other like NPCs. No, he's great. Especially when you try to buy things off him, like although I like Sahara, but just going through her talking is a bit annoying. Sure, the dodos are the worst, right? Oh, definitely. The dodos are worse than everyone else because you, it's just always another layer of unnecessary button pressing. Yep. But yeah, Brewster's a man of few words, which I, a pigeon of few words, which I appreciate. And, you know, the roost is amazing to go and like, when you have friends over to go and hang out with. I love being able to invite the amiibo um, villagers to come and have a coffee with you. I love it when the randoms turn up. Um, Blathers came and got a takeaway in the middle of the day when I was in there the other day, which I thought what? was really cute. It's obviously not working. He must be having decaf. He's always sleeping during the yeah, day. Yeah, right. Because, well, by the time I left the uh, roost a few minutes later, he was already asleep again. <laughs> I told you that Chief got decaf, right? No, I don't think he did. No? He said that um, he could drink coffee right up until bedtime and it was totally fine by him and that Brewster got him a special blend and it came from an island called Decaf. D-E <laughs> space K-A-F-F or something like that. I want to. I like decaf. I want a decaf. That's funny. I don't know. I can't imagine Brewster having anything other than one brand of coffee. You think he's just saying it's decaf? Be like, yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't even give you the option. Uh, no. So I, I can't imagine him having decaf. I think he's. You're probably like making something up, just like, yeah, take your coffee and go. Oh yeah, I think you might be right. Although in New Leaf, he had all the different blends, yeah, but so he doesn't seem to have that in New Horizons. He's no nonsense, just mm. straight coffee, coffee. Well, maybe it's harder to get things shipped over. Yeah, on you're on a tropical island. Although the post is pretty good. Or it's not really tropical. Not, not very tropical right now, no. The post is pretty good though, isn't it? Very quick, from island to island. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing the dodos are good at. I need to get my duster back out. Did you see that I was waving my duster around when you arrived? Yeah, I've seen it. You were dusting Judy off. As I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it in Nook's Cranny this morning. I was so excited. I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen anyone with it. And I was going in to buy some wrapping paper for my daily gifts. And I was like... That is amazing. And I've just been running around, like, <laughs> dusting all the bushes. <laughs> I wish I'd known, because I'd have gave you... I think I've got, like, three dusters in my storage, because I bought them when i seen them in Nooks, but I just thought everyone had them. It's just the simple pleasure of having a thing that you can hold in your hand in this game. I am absolutely obsessed with the villagers having sandwiches. <laughs> really want us they just look like the best sandwiches for a start yeah and um i remember like over the last couple of years before the big update came out we would always be like oh look at them carrying their little baskets or their little shopping bags or whatever how cute now we can carry shopping bags i love those shopping bags that we've got um we can like hold a stick we can hold a duster it's just brilliant to me yeah but how many bags do you have in your bag just so many so many bags i keep i keep buying them off of kick, kicks and i mean to carry one around like with my outfit but see because it's not in your wardrobe i would prefer if the bags were in your wardrobe or equipment was in your wardrobe just to easy access to it Oh, okay. 
I didn't realise that they were. Because the short on bags are classed as an item because it's like a handheld item. So it'd be like, yeah, yeah, next to the, I'm sure it's next to your like drinks and things. Or maybe it's not. Mm. Or maybe I think it is. Else. Yeah, I think it's in with all your fruit yeah. and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I've just on never other, noticed it. The, yeah, on the, the page of other that's just other, got yeah, like a thousand good. items on it now. Yeah, that's usually my biggest section because of all my materials. Mm. I feel like my joy of getting the duster this morning is similar to the joy when we got balloons that we could hold. <laughs> so what I'm you're not sure if it's going to last as long. <laughs> well, the balloon, like holding the balloons lasted for a good few weeks. Yeah, and I think... We obviously brought them out when you were done like events or if you had like people over. It was nice to run around yeah. and do that. I still take joy from them now and do get them out at events, but um, I don't carry one around with me constantly everywhere I go every day anymore. But, but you all your duster because everything always needs clean. <laughs> yeah, I will. It's weird though because I do really hate polishing in Happy Home. <laughs> so actually, like, and I don't really like dusting in real life or anything. But I'm sure the novelty will wear off. But as for today, I'm gonna get my duster out and uh, carry on running around the island with it. <laughs> cool. Well, I think that I'm all caught up with my gossip for the week. How about you? Yeah, I've not much more news from Lockroom to, to share. But thanks for having me over. It's always nice to visit Rialvi. Thanks for coming. It's such it's really nice to catch up. It's a bit different these days now that we don't play like much during the time in between recordings. Yeah. So when we first started making this podcast like over a year ago. We would quite often know what we were up to in the week between the recordings anyway. So it was nice to chat about it, but it wasn't like it wasn't news. new news, if you know what yeah. I mean. But now I, it's uh, we don't get to do that very much, so it's really good to hear all the goings on. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks everyone for listening. Yeah, thanks everyone. Um, we would, you know, that we would be really keen to hear what everyone else is up to on their islands. So, if anybody is listening that's not part of our Discord, then you're very welcome to come and join. If you don't do Discord, you could leave us a comment on YouTube. We um, love to hear what is going on, on your island. You can send us pictures on Twitter and tag us on Instagram and stuff like that. Always up for hearing about people's Animal Crossing things, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to see what other people are having fun with. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks everyone. Take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye, Luke. Bye, everyone. Bye.